Coming up next on Behind the Badge. It is a growing problem. Sex trafficking, and it's happening in your community. What police and hotel owners are doing to combat it. Figuring out what happened. The Fatal Accident Crash Team is helping to answer the questions for people who can't answer for themselves. 911, where's your emergency? Helping to save a life hundreds of miles away. Behind the Badge starts right now. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Flowers, and welcome to Behind the Badge, an inside look at news and newsmakers of the Murfreesboro Police Department. Sex trafficking is on the rise, not only across the country, but right here in Tennessee, and no community, including Murfreesboro, is immune. MPD's Special Investigation Division is now offering training to local hotel staff on how to spot the signs and put a stop to human trafficking. It happens every day. Every two minutes. Someone buys a child for sex. Even with some of the toughest laws in the nation. It can lead to a life of shame, pain, and darkness. Sex trafficking is a major problem in Tennessee. Because it hurts. And real men don't do it. But it does happen, even in Murfreesboro. You. You. You can do something about it. Murfreesboro's Special Investigation Division is doing something about it. The unit recently held a human trafficking training for hotel staff about the signs of sex trafficking and what to look out for. It is a growing problem and it's something we see. We stay quite busy uh, working investigations um, here locally and it's, um, it's something that travels around so much that what may be happening in Nashville or Atlanta today uh, will be here very quickly. The management at Embassy Suites is dedicated to making sure it doesn't happen in their hotel. Five employees attended the training. If you don't take this training, then you know, you're, you're really setting yourself up to miss some red flags. So it's very important that you do take this training and you listen to it because the information that I was given today, I mean, I can't say that I knew walking in the door and you know, having these tools and knowing what to be on the lookout for. Lieutenant Basquette is hoping this is just the icebreaker and more hotel owners will take advantage of the free training in the future. It's also building relationships locally and also so these hotels themselves can uh, you know, work together to share information and ultimately uh, work with us to combat the prostitution, human trafficking. The main takeaway for embassy hotel employees, it can happen to anyone at any time. This lifestyle does not discriminate, that anybody can be affected by human trafficking and can be a victim of human trafficking. So, you know, you have this image in your head of what a victim looks like, but really it can be anyone, it, you know, regardless of background. The goal is to hold human trafficking training at hotel properties, since most of the staff can't take off and attend the training at police headquarters. They are all volunteers and are subject to be called out at any given time, even in the middle of the night, to investigate serious injury or fatal vehicle crashes. The Fatal Accident Crash Team, or FACT, has seen the worst of the worst, and even though it takes a toll on them emotionally, it's the love of the job that keeps them going. Mangled metal and broken headlights. In some ways, the wreckage speaks for itself and often tells the story that victims in fatal crashes sometimes cannot. We uh, investigate serious bodily injury crashes and fatalities. That's where the Murfreesboro Fatal Accident Crash Team comes into play, recreating major traffic accidents to figure out exactly what happened and how it happened. What a lot of people don't understand is, is the Fatal Accident Crash Team, uh, we basically do the exact same job as a detective does. We are detectives. We just have a different kind of scene. Instead of a shooting scene, we have a crash scene. Um, we still have homicides. Uh, we prosecute homicides, vehicular homicides. Currently, there are 14 FACT team members, all volunteers. And on this day, they are training, reconstructing a single vehicle crash. When we go out to a scene, we analyze the roadway, collect data and from the vehicles and from the roadway and put that material together 
to come to a final conclusion of what took place. MPD is fortunate to have a Faro 3D imaging system. The machine slowly rotates 360 degrees, capturing images of crash scenes. The Faro uh, took place of what we used to use as basically surveyor's equipment, uh, where we would digitally map a scene to measure things. It gives us a points of reference. It doesn't miss anything. Uh, it takes out some human error in there of, of missing a piece of, of, of maybe evidence that we didn't see. It's going to pick up everything, and as we walk a scene back, we've got a picture of everything. And then we could go back to the department, plug in that data into the computer, and then stitch those photographs together to make one of the whole scene. It's vital information that can also be used to prosecute vehicular homicide cases. We're very fortunate to have that uh, ability to go out and do these things. We uh, have people that specialize in photography, uh, computer-aided diagramming, things of that nature that assist us in putting the pieces together so we can have a good product for court. In the police world, officers often find a niche. For these fact team members, traffic enforcement and accident reconstruction is theirs. But it can also take a toll on them seeing damage, destruction, and often death. It's a traumatic experience for not only the people involved, their families, but it affects us also. In 2019, the fatal accident crash team responded to 16 serious bodily injury crashes. Sadly, six of them resulting in fatalities. Training and a willingness not to give up. A Murfreesboro emergency communication dispatcher helped to convince a suicidal man hundreds of miles away that life was worth living. Police fire dispatch, Brady. In an emergency, seconds count. What's going on, sir? And when a life is on the line... See any weapons on them? Telecommunications specialist like Brady Ludden is there to help. You may be that, that last resort that they have calling in to talk to you, and you have to be, be prepared for that. The day after Christmas turned out to be like most days in the dispatch center. It was busy that day. Busy. But Ludden, who's also a Christiana you volunteer firefighter, so was able to fit them. in a short lunch break and decided to check a firefighter's Facebook chat group. I noticed a fellow firefighter that posted up in a community group for firefighters reaching out, stating that he was going through PTSD and wanting to end his life that day. Lutton sent a friend's request and a message to the distraught man and offered help. The individual ended up being in Gulfport, Mississippi. Gulfport, Mississippi, nearly 500 miles from Murfreesboro. I took my information that I had and went to my supervisor that was on duty and showed her the messages and she let me know that I had enough to run with it here and use my tools and resources that I had here to try to track the individual down. Ludden was also contacted by a fire chief in New Hampshire who was also concerned about the suicidal man. He reached out just wanting to be sure that I was actually talking to him. The guy wasn't just making it up, saying that he was talking to somebody. Ludden was determined to find the man, but he couldn't quite pinpoint his location. The man kept sending him on a wild goose chase. He knew that I was trying to find him, but he wasn't wanting to give me any information. With all this going on, Ludden was still answering local 911 calls. I was multitasking there and just kept it going while I was you know, answering the phones here, talking to him, and then being on fire radio at the same time. Since the distraught man is a former firefighter, Ludden called a captain at a Gulfport, Mississippi fire station who said the man could come there and get the help he needed. He didn't want officers or firefighters or anybody coming to his house, and it worked out that he agreed that there was a fire station two blocks down from his road. The man was evaluated and taken to the hospital. He messaged Lutton the next day saying, Brady, don't stop doing what you do. People need you. I don't know where things would have gone last night. Keep going. Don't give up. You're good at what you do. It was very heart heartwarming and heart feeling. And, you know, the, the main thing was he started on the journey to improving his life. Lutton recently participated in crisis intervention training that MPD offers to better equip officers and emergency communication personnel. Mental health is a huge issue these days for everybody. And the main thing is that you want to show that person empathy. You want to show them that you're there and that they're not alone. 
not even hundreds of miles away in a different state, could stop Ludden from convincing the man life was worth the living. It made me feel really good, but like I said, you know, that, that wasn't the reason why I did it. I, I did it because that's, that's who I am. I would have done it for anybody. And uh, it's not about the gratific gratification about it. It's that somebody needed, got the help that they needed and they reached out for. Ludden recently received the Murfreesboro branch of the NAACP Jerry Anderson Hero Awards for his selfless act. The award was presented at the organization's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. breakfast in January. Before we go, we want to give a few shout outs. A special shout out to MPD Detective Richard Presley, who received the Mothers Against Drunk Driving Bronze Award for his commitment to eliminate impaired driving on roadways in Tennessee in support of MADS mission. A special shout out to MPD Officer Chris Waters and Officer Terry Spence for also helping to keep our roadways safe. Waters received the Tennessee Highway Safety Office Traffic Officer of the Year Award, and Officer Terry Spence received the Beyond the Traffic Stop Award. The awards were presented at the Law Enforcement Holiday Awards Network meeting held in Bell Buckle, Tennessee in December. A special shout out to Officer Cormac Chandler, Officer Nathan Corwin, and Officer Cameron Stamps, who is not pictured on receiving the City of Murfreesboro Stars Award. The officers conducted a drug bust last August that uncovered heroin, oxycodone, and stolen firearms. And finally, a shout out to MPD's Special Victims Unit. SVU detectives are dedicated to helping victims of crime find justice. And for that, we say thank you. And remember, we are here to serve and protect you. If you have any questions on the services the Murfreesboro Police Department offers, please give us a call at 615-849-2MPD. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time as we go Behind the Badge.